Hello everybody, this is going to be how to get the Android 5.0 Lollipop on your S4. This is mine, I have an extended battery inside of it to make it last about two days, it's worth it. And it is running the complete 5.0. This ROM that we'll be using is a Google Play Edition and there's not any ROM branding. Another really nice thing with this ROM too, besides the no ROM branding, is that it does come with the Aroma installer meaning that if you don't want a specific app installed like a stock Android or Samsung or you do want the Samsung app opposed to the stock Android app it will let you install that uh, straight from installing the ROM and it is a graphical kind of install too so you don't have to just keep pressing the buttons up and down uh, like old school style it is a visual like, installation and you can look through the features uh, it is a very nice ROM, like I said. Smooth, it's very fast. Also has an over-the-air update app, which if, whenever you install this app, you will not need to reflash anything. Once you have it, you go on the OTA updates app, and then it will download the zip file for you, provided that you have enough room, and it just reduces the pain of having to go on here and get the zip file and then flash it back on all the time. So before anything else, your device is going to need to be rooted. If it's not rooted, then you're going to need to root it and install your own custom recovery. Uh, I'm going to be using the TWRP one, but you can use the clockwork mod or whatever you want to use. Another thing whenever it comes to carriers, you will need to know if your bootloader is unlocked. Due to recent updates, they've added Knox, and if you're not familiar with Knox, it is a security feature. So, there's a lot of tutorials around the internet that will tell you how to remove Knox. It is very annoying, but you will need to get that taken care of so that you can install this ROM freely and not have any annoyances. Okay, so once your bootloader is set up and you have your recovery going, you're going to want something to back up your app so that you don't lose any of your data. This becomes a very big pain whenever you are switching ROMs, but because you have it, it's extremely beneficial. I personally use Titanium Backup, I've paid for it, but this requires root, and the Helium, which is also very notable, does not require root, but you're going to need root for this process, so whichever one you choose is completely up to you. Both have free versions and both have paid and donated versions. Once you're ready to start stepping into the ROM, here it is. I have all the links down in the description below. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to go down to download. Ignore anything past this. Ignore that. You're going to want to download it by clicking here. It'll pull up this Ultima ROM. It's pulling up two tabs for me. And you're going to want to download it either by ROM Hut, this mirror, or the torrent. The torrent does go very fast. So once you have that downloaded, it's going to be in a zip file just like this I have over on my other screen. And you're going to want to put it onto your phone any way possible that you know how. I have a specific folder that I navigate to and I know that all my ROMs are there that I'm going to be installing, which, you know, it's one. So there it is. I've already dragged it into there and it's copied over. So from this point on, you will not need your computer, we will be strictly on the device itself. So your phone is going to need to be at least about 50% charged. I have an extended battery, like I said, so power is really not a problem. And make sure that it's not plugged into any like charging sources whenever you're trying to get into recovery mode, because most of the time it just has not worked. So power down your device, pull out your battery, however you want to do it, and get into recovery mode, which you will have to hold the up button, power button, and home button until it says booting into recovery in blue text up top, just like that, recovery booting. Okay, so here's my recovery menu. Now, what we have to do is we're going to have to go to wipe and now you're going to just simply swipe to factory reset now let this finish okay mine just finished 
Now you're going to want to go back. And now you're going to want to select Advanced Wipe. Select the Davily Catch System and the regular catch. And now swipe it again. All right, now that just completed. So now that has been a full wipe. So now we're going to use these on-screen buttons to go back. And now we're going to go into Install. Now this recovery does usually find the zip for you, but you can navigate and this is the file that we are going to want to install. So swipe to confirm the flash. And now it's going to take you through the uh, aroma installer and you get to pick whatever you want on the device. So I will go through my aroma installer and I will just select the applications. At this part, just leave that recommended. If you really don't know what something is, it will it will tell you like, like something like that is experimental, recommended. If you don't know what it is, don't change it. General rule of thumb. All right, now I've just installed my Google Play Edition wrong, and down here it says, "Please beware, the first boot may take some time." And yes, it will. Just set your phone down and let it do its thing. That's the best thing for it. It might seem like it's taking a little bit, but it just needs to do the startups. So done. And now it will restart and just let it do its thing, honestly.